the most mature audiences only shit you've ever heard. Period. From Boston. From Boston. Broadcasting all over the world. The world. Send the soy boys home. Cause we ain't gonna sugarcoat shit. Drop down and give it to you. This. This is. This is. The Joe Cronin Show. Now. Now. Here's Joe here's Cronin. Joe Cronin. Joe Cronin. <laughs> Boys. What up to all the boys and girls out there? How you guys doing tonight? Um, I'm sorry, ma'am, but uh, yeah, unfortunately Jake got sick or something. I forget. I, he was a whole lot of shits going on with him. He's sick. He doesn't feel good. He's got something going on in the morning. Obviously, one of the problems with uh, his condition is it can happen at any time. I was pretty confident, though, um, after hearing him yesterday. You know, he felt pretty good yesterday. But, um, yeah. He said he hasn't stopped vomiting since um, last night, I guess. He, he's got to go tomorrow for a COVID-19 test. Then Wednesday, he has to go to an endoscopy. And then have possible surgery. So we'll see what happens. But that is the, uh, that's the harsh deal right now for Jake. All that going on. I mean, you know, he didn't even feel this bad up until about 8.30 or something when he hit me up. So, you know, I didn't really expect to find it. I didn't really look for anybody to fill in or anything like that, really. So there's a couple little things to go over for out of nowhere tonight. But uh, yeah, it's the 2020 curse, man. This this year sucks. This uh, day, this week has sucked. Uh, you know, it's been a really bad year. This whole year has really sucked. You know, the the numbers on YouTube are all down across the board because wrestling is down. To be honest, De wrestling is so down. All the wrestling numbers are way down, man. When I started doing this, it was fire. Back in 2012, when I started doing this, it was fire. It was fire. And, um, we were killing it, man, all of a sudden. And, uh, then the, the wrestling world was pretty hot. You know, people wanted it to get better, but it was, uh, but it was doing well. So wrestling was doing well. At least you could say it was doing that. You know, now it's not really doing so hot. So, yeah, might be time to focus on a lot of other things. But you never know. We'll still be here doing it, but it's just, a mess. I mean, I had to, I already gave up doing SmackDown reviews, which is crazy. I never thought I would, uh, I didn't think I would do that, but, um, there's just not a lot of point in some of it, you know, NXT was the other night. We're getting ready for, um, in your house, which I'm pretty excited about in your house because it's just the nostalgia of it sounds cool and the card's good. So it's not like nostalgia and the card isn't good, you know, and whatever, but it's like I want to be over here. Put me in the put me in the corner. God damn it. Um. So yeah, man. I, I basically talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. I I obviously there's some news stories I could have talked about some things, but you know I just not feeling it. I I couldn't care. I you know it, there's not a lot of stuff going on. But there's a few things to talk about, so I'll I'll talk about those. Um. I will uh. Also be playing uh, some games so I'm gonna be gaming instead tonight I'm gonna be going over to evil spectrum my gaming YouTube channel and then I'm gonna be on twitch as well on twitch.tv slash Joe Cronin JCS Diablo 3 just released a, an update on the patch a patch update on the PTR the test realm and I'm gonna check that out um, I put up a note to self on patreon so that is up for you guys it's about 30 minutes long or something like that I answered all the questions you guys Asked, we had about 10, 12 questions from the other day, um, people asking about some stuff. So I talked about it, we talked about a bunch of shit. So check that out. That's on Patreon. 
And me and Jesse last night did a After Dark. Shit you've ever... And After Dark was um, about an hour, an hour or so long. So we did the After Dark last night, so that's up as well. So After Dark is up there also. If you want to listen to that, that's that's available also. I, I didn't I didn't I didn't give a rating for last night's NXT. I guess you're right. I guess I was I think I did mention it, but I don't know if I gave it officially on my review earlier. My NXT review went up on YouTube earlier. Not everybody got it, but a lot of people did. Um I think I gave NXT last night like a seven. I think I gave NXT a seven out of ten last night. I thought it was pretty good. Pretty good show. I think I gave AEW like a 5 or a 5.5. That was my worst, probably one of the few times that I, I said NXT to me, I felt NXT beat AEW. I think NXT's beaten AEW a couple times, but it's been close. It's been really close. That's true. Uh, Tommy NC's friend, who we made fun of about his ponies, um, took out my other channel, Corrupted Nation, and then... Today, Tommy put up a video of that same guy, of him laughing at him. It was It's almost like a mockery that Tommy uploaded a video from three years ago where Keemstar laughed at, at his buddy who likes ponies, and then they just started laughing because Keem thought he was like a psycho for having ponies behind him. It felt like a mockery. It felt like some kind of weird shot that like... Hey, I'm going to fuck your channel, even though I, I don't even know, even though he doesn't even watch my show. How could Mark Hyder even know how to find my show or even that my show was on the air? But he did. He found in the middle of an eight hour show, he found the 30 seconds where we played a video of him being a barber. And then... And then uh, as soon as I delete the video, his demands were that I delete the video because we used his content, which is not, it's fair use. So if you went to court, it's fair use. So if it went to court, it would be fair use. You can't put stuff up on YouTube like that and then think like, okay. What is this, dude? I like how the the cop the cop was like, "I gotta help this guy," but then the other cop was like, "No, don't help him. You're gonna be in a photo with him when he dies. Like, keep walking." But this is a white guy, so nobody cares, right? Or is he Japanese? If he's a white guy, nobody's gonna give a shit. Maybe if he maybe if he's Asian they'll care. God damn man, they fucking just shoved the guy right over, huh? God damn, Jesus. We have EMT on scene. Oh God! They had to call the the ambulance for this guy. Jesus Christ! Man, shoved an old guy. I mean, he got in their face. Damn. I couldn't do that stuff. Especially, I would have given the old guy a hug. I've been like, "What are you doing, bro?" And then I would have sneezed on him and said, "I've got COVID." Damn, dude, that guy got jacked up. Nobody cares. He's a white guy. Who cares? Um, yeah, you you're not gonna get a notification from my show tonight because I I I told you guys in all the videos I uploaded today that uh, you probably wouldn't get a notification because uh, I uploaded so many videos today that YouTube won't give you a notification for tonight. But I was okay with that because I just figured everybody will know that we're live. But uh, Jake is not going to make it tonight because he's got, he may have, he's going to have like an endoscopy and he's been throwing up for like a couple days now. Uh, so Jake says he's been throwing up, man. And so he's going to have an endoscopy tomorrow and then he may have to have surgery again to figure out what's going on. 
I've got a really bad cut in my mouth that's like in it's fucking killing me, dude. Uh, that guy must be hard of hearing. Yeah, he could be. I guess he could have uh, hearing issues. But I mean, you can see the cops coming. You know, you wouldn't. You you think you wouldn't want to walk into it. You know. So, yeah. I so yeah. I don't know why. Um, why in the world? Uh, you know, uh, Mark Hyder would get so angry. He he said the reason why he took my video down. Or was going to, or asked me to take the video. He basically asked me to take the video down. The reason why we had to take the video down was because he said it was making fun of him and he didn't like that. I literally have the DMs. He said it was making fun of him and he didn't like that. So I said, well, I'm sorry, man. Like, we, we like you. We just make fun of everything on, on over on that show and monetize this. And I'm like, are you sure you need to take this down? Like, I need to take this down all because we laughed about you for like 40 seconds? I'll have you on the show if you want to talk to everybody and stuff. And he's like, no. And then um, Tommy today puts up a pony video. Puts up it puts up a video where where they're make, like laughing at him having ponies. So it's very weird. You know what I mean? That the guy would. It's almost like just a taunt. It's like a big taunt. You know? Yeah, good thing we did the predictions for In Your House last night, huh? Because we really, uh, it really ended up paying off, man. We did the predictions last night. But yeah, um, so I'm basically just coming on here to do a hangout q and I'm not even going to do the wrestling news. There wasn't a lot anyway, but I think I want, if I was, if I was talking to Jake about stuff, I'd feel, feel fun having a conversation with Jake about it. But uh, out of nowhere has always been made for a two or three person crew. So without um, a two or three person crew, I don't really want to do an out of nowhere podcast. That's why we're not doing one. But um, without Jake being here. So, yeah, I'm going to have to find another uh, find some people who want to throw their names in the hat who want to come on out of nowhere and other things when Jake isn't around. So uh, just hit me up in a DM on Twitter and we'll see about it. But yeah, I love the old uh, In Your House logo. I really like that. You know? Um, everyone want to use the N-word until it's time to defend black people. What? I guess I don't know what that means. Who, who wants to use the N-word? Who the hell wants to? I mean, uh, Hogan's wife, <laughs> Hogan, maybe Hogan's wife, you know, maybe Hogan's wife. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, okay. Fabe, uh, shut it down, man. He had to go away and do stuff. I invited him to a lot of shows, but he just couldn't make it. And, um, obviously Jake is, uh, gonna have surgery. Super chat. Yeah. Maybe. Super chat. Yeah. Miss watching you, Joe. Still love you. Oh, what what a terrible night to to say that. The Rose, Casey. What's up, Casey? I thought it was Casey's Raw. How you doing? Super chat party. Tough life nowadays being a middle aged honked. <laughs> Jay, what's up? Jay, thank you for the dollar ninety nine, man. Much appreciated. Oh, you mean Dave Rose using the N word? Oh, okay. Eh, everybody's fake about that. Everybody says Dave Rose is a racist, but then, then they don't say that when they see him other places. They're like, oh, it's Dave. Cool. So everybody's really just a fake person. Yeah, everybody's fake about that. Nobody's really mad at Dave. Maybe some black people are. But a lot, a lot of people who say they're mad at Dave are just faking it. They're just lying. It. They're lying. Basically being liars. Like most people. Most people are liars. What's up, J-Rod? Um, Shut up and bend over. I was surprised about... Uh, finish it. Drake. Oh my god, don't finish it. Please don't finish it. I'm gonna finish it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Tommy's a cunt. When these bigger YouTubers talk about him, he thinks he doesn't need you. What a bitch. Scavenger, thanks for the donation, man. This is exactly what Tommy did to us the last time. You remember? Tommy NC had 3,000 subs. I had 12,000 subs. I had 15,000 subs. Or I might have had 20. I might have had 20,000 subs, and Tommy had 3,000. And he was always crying to me about, you know, leaving YouTube, maybe. And then when I told him about the Leafy video and then told him to make that video, he made that video, he got a million fucking views. Then he then he got 100,000 subs because somebody saw it. So, yeah. And then he disappeared after that. The second that happened, Tommy disappeared. He was like, I'm out of here. I don't need you anymore. And then people even were just shitting on me like I was tailing along with him or something. And I'm like, I'm the guy who fucking basically helped them do all this you dumb fucking idiots and tommy just like ignored that all, all pretended like yeah so i'm not surprised that once he gets attention again that he would he would do this he would do that wouldn't be not surprised not really surprised what uh, why is nia jack still employed oh samoan that's why Probably. I don't want Nia Jax to get fired. I don't think Nia Jax should be fired. But I just don't... You know, I don't... She needs to be retrained or something. This girl needs to go down and get retra retra retrained. I can't even talk. Um, Send Nia Jax down to get retrained because she's out of her goddamn mind. Um... They talking about on CNN, Don Lemon not happy. Well, Don Lemon's a scumbag, so I'm not surprised. Uh, how long until Drew Brees' is death threats? They'll probably kill Drew Brees is what will happen. I've been telling you guys this for years. This will lead to, you better kneel down, you better say this, you better do this, and if you don't, we're, we'll come and drag you out of your house and kill you. This is what this is leading to. Now, I choose... To support my black brothers and sisters out there. I definitely support... I'm with you guys. I support the shit out of you. Like mentally. I'm here for you. I haven't done mu uh, too much to help or hurt anything. But I'll be here for you. And um, you're up against it compared to me, no doubt. But, however... You know, screaming at people that they're... You have this privilege! And just being insane is going to make people go the other way with it. And there's going to be, there's going to be wars. Um, and the next thing it leads to is finding people's history and finding anything they've ever done. And even though it's nowhere near as bad as anyone from the 60s or the 40s or the 1900s or stuff back then, it's going to lead to outing people and going after people and lives ruined jobs ruined all over little goofy things like Lars Sullivan what he did will end up I would think becoming like in like he'll be like whatever and then it will lead to like people dragging you out of your house and beating you to death like the witch trials that's what people are afraid of that's what I see happening but uh you know I don't know god damn you know But yeah, so um, we are, like I said, Jake DeMarco's sick. He may have to have surgery tomorrow. So he might have to have surgery tomorrow. And so this is a very quick Q&A, hangout, whatever. Lars is still in WWE. Yeah, Lars is fucked. That shit from his blog back in the day. Can you imagine Lars right now? I don't know what Lars would have to do now after all this. He has to lay low for another like six months. That guy's got to go hide for like six months and then hope that, like, LeBron James comes out on a podium with him and forgives him or something. Like, this guy, at this point, like, these people are going to have to come out like it's a fucking, like, communion. Like, it's church communion. And just, like, cry in front of people. And then let, like, some people punch them in the face or something. You know what I mean? Um, That's probably what people are going to have to do. YTRs that throw the N-word around on their show being... Yeah, probably. Yeah, maybe. You never know. You'll be killed, probably. <clears throat> I called a white guy the N-word once. <laughs> on the show. I called a white guy the N-word. Um, 
He lives in a bubble. Yeah, LeBron. I think LeBron and and Drew Brees both do do good for people. So I don't. I think they both they both do good. I mean, Drew Brees has donated like millions of dollars. He just shouldn't have said anything at the time. He really spoke up at the wrong time. The guy, what the fuck is he doing? Is what I when he when I saw that tweet, I went, oh my god. Like I'm such a I don't I'll say what I want when I want type of person. But my god, even I was like, what is he doing? What the fuck is he doing? Other people see things differently than him, like, by far. So it's like, oh, man, be careful. Like, they're going to fucking kill you. But at the same time, like, it's, I don't know, a lot of people think he didn't do anything wrong at all. And so what did he do? He just tweeted, like, so what? He tweeted his opinion. What's the big deal? It, it's America, but it's not. Everybody, this this place is a mess right now with just morons running fucking rampant. Dumb people running running wild right now. It's insane. Um, looks like, wow, I mean, we got some donations rolling in despite it being a lackluster show tonight. And I'm sitting here babbling on to you guys in a really bad mood because I'm a cunt. Um, oh, there you goes the, donated wow. 50 bucks. Holy I'm going to take my dick out because you donated Whoa. 50 bucks. You donated 50 bucks. Mo fuck boy. I'm a rich mo fucker. Time to play the game. Wow. Wow. What the frig? What? Man in black. Man in black. Bails out the Joe Cronin show tonight. Despite Jake being sick and me being a mess. Man in black shows up like a goddamn superhero and drops a $50 random dono. Holy shit, dude. Thank you, man. What the hell? Here you go. Here it is for you. Man in black. So Ryback, um, a lot of people heard this earlier, but Ryback left me a uh, left me a voicemail. A lot of people heard this voicemail earlier, but I can't believe it. Man in Black with the fifty dollar drop. I gotta tell you about this voicemail, man. It was very, very serious. Like he was serious. Ryback gets serious. Like he gets very serious at times. By the way, shout out to the twenty five dollar producer level patrons. Thank you guys for keeping Patreon going. I made an, a note to self where I addressed many issues and I answered all your questions on Patreon earlier today. Note to self, episode 24. It's up right now. And I got really raunchy with your mother. And then last night, me and Jesse recorded a one-hour episode of After Dark podcast. Me and Jesse. It's one hour. It's up on Patreon as well. Thanks to all the $25 producers, including a new one, Antoine Pleasant. Been around a little bit here, but he's a newer one. A lot of new ones. We'll, we'll shuffle through those and shout them out a little bit after. But uh, yeah, Ryback, uh, Rybotch, Rybotch is is accurate. Is really who it is. It's Rybotch. He called up. Yeah, what's going on? Um, it's me, Ryback. Yeah, I really, really want to say thank you to everybody on the Joe Cronin show who um, wow. we thought it'd be cool for me to come on here. I really enjoy being on the show. Finally, after all these years of Joe being a pussy, being an idiot, oh. I can finally come on here and talk about, um, you know, my fat body burner extreme available on Amazon.com. And the fact of the matter is, is I always, I always knew Joe was a good guy, but he was working with this guy. Uh, he was working with this guy, JD, and that guy's a piece of shit. And um, I just figured shit floats together, you know, and that's why I thought. You know, this guy, I've heard things, I've heard rumors online that he molests cats, all kinds of weird stuff like that. And I saw him, I'm like, yeah, that guy definitely does that. So I'm like, no, nah, I don't fuck with that guy. So I figured Joe was a piece of shit too. But the fact of the matter is, is I'm here to tell people to knock off calling me a pussy online. 
because when I see you in person, it's a different story. Just like Joe, you came up to me shaking, to shake my hand. I was not shaking. And I know you said you had the balls, you had the balls to say sorry. Well, uh, well, JD from New York just sat in the background, scared videotaping. Um, and, and, if, and if anybody really ever, if you ever see me in person and fuck with me and you fuck with me on Twitter or somewhere else like that, I will fuck you up. <laughs> I will finish it. And I will masturbate all over you. Uh, 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 <laughs> gurgle, gurgle. <laughs> Gurgle, girl. Uh, shell shock. <laughs> oh man. Um. Thank you, Ryback. From the depths of hell once again. Yeah. From the pit of my stomach. Yeah, from the pit of my stomach. Pit of spikes. Pit of spikes. Up through my big guy. Fucking huge neck. My I got a fucking huge neck. Throat in my mouth. Yeah, it's all over my mouth. It's all over my dick. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. The flames are gonna rise. The flames are gonna the rise. I swear to God, I'm gonna eat my fucking old asshole out. Uh, so do you want me to do it? I'll do it. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Fat body burner extreme. You wanna play? You know how many times I fuck Pat Patterson? I will fuck Pat Patterson's asshole. You know, I found out that he has a he had like a, a new Twitter account. He he had a new Twitter account. Had his blue check mark taken away. And I just recently had to remake my Twitter account, and I'm already banned by the guy. I'm already banned. Like, how did he find me? He like knew that I had made a new Twitter account like like a month ago, and he had also had a new tr Twitter account, and then I was banned already. <laughs> I was like, wow. This he found unless I tweeted him. I think I might have. There maybe I might have tweeted him and said like, hey, let's make up again. Like, come on, man, it's me. You know. So maybe I did do that. Uh, that would make more sense because I can't believe you would possibly follow it like that. Like to be like, I got to block him. I know he... that's weird. That'd be really weird if that was the case. Um, man in black. Thank you, man in black for the $50 donation. We're going to have to put man in black up. And I wrote men in black. Men in black, and I didn't write it all together. I am fucking stupid. But that's me, man. That's me for you. A stupid idiot. I am what you call a stupid idiot. And that's why I'm on YouTube at 11.45 at night. Man in black is a beast! <laughs> Better have respect for my neck You look to yours come bad and wet My neck's so big I get extra breath Breathing in my lungs won't accept I can fit a thousand cock to my throat I still don't choke Big ass jaw make the girls go Ah, oh, that's the biggest damn neck that they ever saw huh? Think that's big, wait till you see my bar Oh my god Ah, oh, nah Biggest neck you ever saw Ah, oh, nah Biggest neck you ever saw How much longer before we're forced to live in a society like the movie Demolition Man or that episode of Black Mirror with Bryce Dallas Howard? Yeah, this is super scary. It, it, it actually should scare everybody. Scavenger! Thank you, Scavenger. Thank you, Scavenger. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, man, listen, I don't want to talk about it too much because I don't want to talk about politics or the world right now in this show, really, but we'll talk about whatever you want, but... You know, I'd, I'd definitely like to lean it more towards wrestling, but at some point, they're going to drag you out of your house for what you say. It's coming. It's coming, guys. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. They're going to start dragging someday in the future. Our ki Your kids, my kids maybe, are going to be killed because of things people said on social media or things that they said. Um, they're going to go to jail for them. They're going to be hung, whatever. It's going to be insane. You're going to set the precedent 
that the mob mentality rules and we're going to go get them. We're going to go get them. Just like Tommy says. It's going to be anybody who doesn't abide by whatever weird thing is going on and standards in the world. And they're going out for some hangings. Because that's history, folks. It keeps repeating itself every time, every time. Every time, every history, every hundred years, you go back and you go, how could people do that to people? How could people do that to people? How could the Nazi Germany, how could that happen? How could we round up all these people and gas the Jews? How could Hitler get away with this? How could we have slaves? How could we enslave people? How could we enslave black people? Well, I got news for you. They're slaves right now in Africa right now. Does anyone give a fuck? There's slaves everywhere. There was there were white slaves, Irish slaves. There were there, there's a million times there's slaves going back a million times because it keeps happening again. There were witch trials where we fucking we thought people were witches and we blamed them for being witches. When it didn't rain on a certain night, we blame someone. We kill somebody and sacrifice people and take them out and we do all these things and we never learn. It repeats itself. Going back to fucking medieval times. Going back to fucking Stone Age. Going back to other times, going back to Greece and the Greek and whatever, like you just Egypt, like everywhere. You can just give a million examples. It's never going to end. It's going to start again. We've been living in the fucking the whatever the fucking the Renaissance. We've been living in the fucking Renaissance for the last 40 years, you know, here in the country. We thought it was bad, but you're really it's going to be worse. So get ready. The 70s, that was a, a fucking walk in the park. The 80s was awesome. The 90s were awesome. Walk in the park. Walk in the park. 2000s have been a walk in the park too. You know? Except for the, you know, we did go to war. You know, that was the thing where we went to war for no reason in 2001, but then we gave away all our rights, the Patriot Act and so on, and the internet privacy is gone. Everything is gone. And anything you say anywhere and whatever, it's coming. It is coming for you. And by the way, to the 30 pussies who left my channel earlier today, who literally couldn't stand that I played The Rock's video, and I simply told you that that was kind of my opinion, where's our leadership? The 30 of you that got so mad that you left, you must have been racist. Like, you have to be racist. You seriously got that mad that I played The Rock's speech for everybody and that I said, you know, I, I don't know where our leadership is anywhere. And you got that mad at me that you left? fucking good thing you did because you suck you snowflake bitches 30 of you are you serious what the fuck you will see people dragged out of their houses and beaten to death all for things that people thought they were you will see it that's where we're going We talked about In Your House last night. We gave all our predictions. This card for In Your House is stacked. This friggin' card for In Your House is amazingly stacked, dude. It's amazingly stacked. What's up, Jerome? Sp Jerome Spicer. What's up, Jerome? I can't really agree with you on that, Jerome. You're not... It's not... It's not... You're, you're going to see what I'm talking about. You're going to see what I'm talking about. Right now... There's a lot of uh, injustice going along for a lot of people, but you're going to see some real shit. Jerome, you have no idea, bro. I'm telling you, buddy, you're going to see some real shit. You're going to see some serious shit. Coming up. Probably can't say the S word on here. I probably just got demonetized. Joe, you think SummerSlam might happen in Boston? July 20th could be phase four in Boston. I mean, it maybe. I will be shocked if it happens, but I think it will. I think it could now. I really do because I think we. I think we're done with COVID. It's over. COVID's over, dude. People were like, "Oh, we're, we're you're not allowed to go to the swimming pool. You're not allowed to do this. We're not allowed to have a party. We're not allowed to have the blood drive they were gonna have somewhere. They they weren't allowed to do a million things, but we were allowed to have thousands of people in the very same street." 
the other day. I saw them all over the Massachusetts. Marty Walsh is a retard. Marty Walsh gave a speech the other day. The guy didn't mention one thing about the looting and the sh and, and the, sh the, the no, there was no shooting, but the looting and the I went for Trump's catchphrase, the looting and the um, the rioting and the destruction. He mentioned none of it. He literally was just like, oh, yeah, it was really peaceful in Boston. And that's how we're going to lead the way in Boston. Uh, that's blah, blah, blah. He doesn't quite have the Menino accent, but he's got a close one. He sounded like a bitch. You know who sounded like a you know who sounded like a fucking leader? Titus O'Neil. Titus O'Neil sounded like a goddamn leader. Let me play Titus O'Neil. Then I'm going to play the Boston Mayor Marty Walsh. In the right way, peacefully. But for you all out there that are agitating this with your public comments and throwing bricks at the police officers, they're human beings too. They're not robots. We have a great reputation of being a great city here in the temple with great leadership. But this is not the way to do it. Having this stuff just planted everywhere, it's ridiculous, man. If you feel like you gotta go out and damage something, stay home. This happened in Minnesota, all right? How can we- Break your wife's pussy, stay home. How can we take, take what happened in Minnesota and bring it to Tampa and figure out a way to build relationships- I thought this was J&J &J security here with them. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Relationships with our law enforcement and hold them accountable. So for once, we as a country have an opportunity to come together and say, you know what, enough is enough for all races to, to stand up and say, this is not right. Let's make the best story we possibly can for this area. So, you know, you got Titus O'Neil in Tampa ranting about the violence and ramp, ranting about calm down. And we're going to figure this out. But then you got the complete opposite in Boston because the, the you know, the Titus can say how he feels because he's a black guy. But the white guy, Marty Walsh in Boston has to be like, I just love everything we did. And like, he doesn't bring up the fucking cop cars set on fire. He doesn't bring up the looting, the beatdowns, the beatings, whatever else. He doesn't bring up any of it. He just is like, oh, we were great. We were, we were, we were really good. What the fuck are you talking about, Marty? You dumbass. Listen to the Boston mayor, dude. He's like, you know you can he looks like he just saw a ghost. He looked like he just saw his fucking mother-in-law raped with a... Discord, with a pirate Nine, dildo. VR chat, Stream Deck, Overwatch, and many more. With our soundboard, the hell am I looking at right now? And Boston Mayor Marty Walsh encouraging people throughout. Thousands of people have gathered this week to march to the streets of Boston to denounce police brutality. Yesterday, a large group peacefully came together in the common. One of the demonstrations was violent. Sunday night, protesters and police clashed. Demonstrators that a cruiser on fire smashed door windows. And Murder has caused real pain. It has brought out real pain that has existed in this city for a long, long time. <coughs> I want to thank the thousands of people who have come out to honor George Floyd and take a stand against racism. Mayor Walsh says it's time for everyone to come together to get work. That's not the clip, man. This is a clip of him going on and on and on about just blah, blah, blah. I'll tell you, man, he looked like he, he looked like a limp dick in this video. Whatever. Good luck with your mayor, Boston. This, good luck with your mayor, Boston. What a wuss. The mayor sucks. These mayors suck, dude. Why can't I be the mayor of a of a goddamn town or a country or a fucking state? Man, I would speak better than these people. These people can't even speak. They can't speak. Come out. Support the black community. R assure everybody else that we're going to be all right, but we're also going to not stand for criminal activity. But we're going to support your protest and we're going to support um, the, the right to protest and we're, and we're going to be one of the leaders in change and, and, and working with our police forces. We might even bring back police academies if we have to. We're certainly going to retrain all officers and we're going to re-educate everybody on the police force here. We're going to show our numbers of complaints versus other people's. We're going to show you the stats of where Boston is compared to other states and cities and how we rank as far as police brutality and doing our jobs and how many people are killed and how many people are saved and what we do. And we're going to assure the community 
that we will protect you no matter what color you are. And when you're in our hands, whether you've done something bad or not, we're going to take care of you because that's our job. But we're not going to put up with defacing statues and breaking glass and businesses and harming people in our, in our town, in our city. We're going to stand up against the criminals. We're not going to let the bad people who are coming here to do bad things fuck up our town because you want to protest. You have the right to protest. These people are trying to start fires so that no long, so that protesters are looked at as criminals, and you're not criminals. So we are now going to focus on punishing to the fullest extent of the law the criminals that break things and break the rules. But the rest of you can be here every day until the end of time, until the change happens. Because I'm your leader, and I'm with all of you. And I'm especially with the black Bostonians today. Why doesn't someone come out and say that shit? What, what is this Marty Walsh fucking, we had a peaceful rally and a peaceful, we had a, what the fuck is he talking about, dude? This is a goddamn guy, what an idiot. You're an idiot, Marty Walsh. You suck. You're the leader of Boston. You're the mayor of Boston. You're a fucking, I bet you I can knock you out with my dick. I think I could watch, what knock Marty Walsh out with my dick. The cops are crazy in Boston, by the way. The cops, cops will whoop your ass in Boston. The cops here are so real, it ain't even funny. Has anybody ever listened to Bill Burr? Like, in Bill Burr's, like, and someone tries to say Bill Burr is, like, ra like against women or something like that. Bill Burr just goes, I'll go fuck yourself. Like, that's, that's literally what the cops would tell you here. You're a racist cop, or you're the, the Boston cops, dude. They'll just be like, well, fuck off. That's what the Boston cop will say to you. <laughs> the Boston cops are crazy, dude. I was down there one day. I wasn't even doing anything. I was, like, on the sidewalk. They were telling everybody they had to stay on the sidewalk. I might have stepped in the street because I, like, stumbled. You know how you lean off the sidewalk, and I fell off during a parade? I stepped in the, on the street, and then I got right back on the sidewalk, fucking cop ran up to me and fucking jammed into me and I went oh my god what the fuck he goes stay on the fucking sidewalk and I was like dude holy fuck dude I stepped on the road like I fucking I'm been walking on the sidewalk for like 15 minutes I fucking lost my balance and stepped on the road Jesus is it fucking sacred ground and he goes you say one more fucking word now fucking drag you the fuck out of the and he just flipped the fuck out and I was like hey I'm sorry all right and then I kept walking. And then as I walked away, he still went, faggot. <laughs> that was the Boston cop. <laughs> and that was 2003. They don't give a shit here. The cops will kick your ass in Boston. Cops will fucking kick your ass in this city. <laughs> They're fucking crazy. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. Smoke weed every day. Yo, Joe, check out Ed's View new video if you haven't already. Mm. Yummy. Yo, Joe. Yeah, I will check it out. Oh, Will Tactics. Thank you, man. We need to eat some noodles. We need to eat some noodles, Will Tactics. What's going on, dude? How you doing? Let's talk about AEW and how they need to fix uh, some things. AEW is awesome. Blows away WWE, but they're making mistakes. Uh, Bruce, yeah, 100%, bro. Definitely. It's definitely true. They could be killing it. They could be really <laughs> running away with it. We have a new member of the JCS Army. CJ Bradley, thanks for becoming a sponsor, man. Uh, much appreciated. Um, thank you, CJ Bradley. Welcome, everybody. Give him love, CJ Bradley. Cops are like that everywhere. Um, I don't know, man. I'm, but 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 here's my other point. I didn't get to finish my point. I also love. I also love. I also think the cops are pretty cool here. I think that they're really good, man. I've seen the. I've seen the cops be really good here. But yeah, there's always going to be bad seeds in the cops. There's always going to be one or two cops. Somebody who's an ass a psycho or something or whatever so many bad people become cops they need to bring uh, jesse ventura said the other day they need to bring back bring back police academies they need to bring back police academies and train these people i think jesse ventura nailed it man i think jesse ventura nailed it they need police academies back they need police academies back and just like police can get rewards based on their service and what they do and how they can get like heart like like different medals and things like that. They should also have certain penalties going the other way for when they do certain things and when they find certain things out. Um, certainly, I think it's super 
it would it'd be it'd very important to police the police, um, but not not to get in the way of their jobs. You know what I mean? While they're making an arrest, while they're doing something that they're supposed to do, not screaming in their face, be like, "I'm taping it!" <laughs> like, but I mean, you know what I mean? Like having video, having their they all have body cams. Their cars have 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 three sixty cams. Why don't all put fucking three sixty cams on all the cars? Are you ready to pay for that though? Are you guys all ready to pay for that? If you're ready to pay for it, hey, let's bring it on. 360 cameras on the top of their cars. Cameras on the passenger side of their car. Cameras on the body cameras. You want to pay for it all? I'm game. I'm game. It might protect them too. If somebody says that they did something and then they look at the video and they didn't do it. So, hey man, if you want to pay for it, I'm down to pay for shit. I'm down for taxes. In a certain way. But, uh... I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. Um, thank you for the donations, man. I didn't expect to be uh, on this long, so this is... We're getting into it, man. I'm going to be playing Diablo in a little bit on my other channels, but we'll stick around and keep keep with this so we can talk, man. And for the people just coming in, Jake is uh, sick, really bad, throwing up, and he, might have to, he has to have an endoscopy tomorrow, so... He couldn't make it tonight. He really expected to be here, so it's it's really bad, man. If he's not here, it's really bad, because he's he's usually here, even if he's fucking like. Rrr. So it was out of nowhere that he he couldn't make it. So I'm sorry about that. Little bitch president. <laughs> Joe, did you see Trump had new fencing and barriers put up around the White House? This president is the littliest <laughs> pussy bitch of all time. You have the best security of any person in the country, yet you put up more barriers cause you are a scared wimp. Little bitch president, thanks for the $4. Um. Okay, so here, I'm going to, alright. I'm going to make you mad because I'm going to disagree on this one, although I have to see it. I'm going to have to go look at the barriers. What you've seen over the last couple of days tells you that the White House isn't secure 100% the way it should be. Nobody expected mobs of people like this to be showing up at the White House. So I don't mind being defensive minded, right? Like that's not a bad thing. What I don't like is marching over to a church and shoving peaceful protesters out of the way so you can take a picture with a Bible. I don't like that. I don't like looting. I don't like fires. I don't like Antifa. I don't like the KKK. I don't like people that throw bricks. I don't like SJWs. I don't like virtue signaling crybabies and fake people like are all over Twitter today. I don't like any of that. Not a fan of any of the left right now. But I'm not a fan of pushing protesters out of the way to go take a picture. I was fully behind everything Trump said before that. When he got when he when he gave his speech and was like we're you know thoughts and prayers to the, the whatever and we're going to do we're going to get to the bottom of this and the FBI and and then he said but we're not going to stand for looting and I'll be law and order and all this stuff all that stuff I w I was down with what he said Charlemagne was down with it too I heard a lot of uh some of the some of the podcasts I once in a while check out like his and other people's they were like absolutely liked what he said he said great stuff but where I bailed was where he pushed people who, who were peaceful protesters. Those ne weren't necessarily the people from the night before. The people from the night before were dealt with. Th this was a new set of protesters that had now set up to protest. And then the police got in their face and then shoved them back. <clears throat> that I don't like. That I don't like. He forced that for no reason. There was no reason for him to do that. It was other than to, to, to show some kind of dick-waving thing or to be a shithead. 
So I've defended I've defended him every single time that somebody said something about Trump that was bullshit or that was a crybaby thing. I've defended him just like I defended Obama. I defended Obama multiple times too against people that were just like, "Oh, Obama's a piece of shit." You know, I defended Obama and I defended Trump. And I but I can't what he did with that is bullshit and pisses me off. Because that's a bully thing. What he did was bully. He tried to bully people. He bullied his own fucking people. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't give a shit how many people left earlier. You know? You should fact check your info because it's wrong. Maybe the black community should take responsibility for their 10 blacks killed. What info is wrong? What, what is the info that I'm giving that's wrong? I'm not even talking about that, Zach. Zach Fuller, I'm not talking about that, dude. What are we talking about? What, what info have I given you? I'm not giving you info on death of white or black or anybody else. I'm not giving you any of that info. I haven't said anything about that. All I'm saying is what Trump said in his speech yesterday was great. And then he pushed people in fucking away with cops. So I'm wait I'm waiting to see what the fuck I'm wrong about because I haven't I haven't given any stats about anything. <coughs> but yeah, um, that was a bitch move the other day by him. That was a bitch move, orange face fuck. But but putting um but putting barriers around the White House, I mean, I'd do it too. I'd rather be defensive. It's not you know it's not like he's putting tanks around the White House. He loves building walls. I don't know. Fucking who cares? He's building the wall. This cop, when that cop tried to kneel down to help that old guy and then the other cop like pushed him away, like what? Like that was crazy. But yeah, you're going to see some crazy shit, man. I'm telling you all right now. You're going to see the craziness. Get ready for it, man. I hope you're ready. Hope you got guns. Like everybody always says. It's going to be nuts, bro. Those people should move out of the way. <laughs> but yeah, everybody's sensitive on the right and left. So anybody that thinks the left is sensitive or the right isn't, the right is sensitive too. Some of the most cowardly pussy people on both sides. Some of the most, you are some of the most cowardly pussies I've ever seen. All on both sides. I can't stand the right and the left. I hate them. I hate them. Yeah. Nobody cares that their own community is killing each other more than anything. And then they get mad when little things. I get it. I get the I get the argument. I get that more black people die at the hands of black people than anything. I get that. I know what you're saying. But um, that's not what I was talking about, though. You just brought that up. That's not what I was talking about. I was talking about Trump marching to a fucking church like an idiot. With a Bible that's been changed about 9,000 times that doesn't mean a goddamn thing worth a shit. You know what I thought when I saw him hold that Bible up? I thought he might as well just stick that up his ass. And then you know what I thought when the church lady came on? Do you remember they brought the pastor on or the pastorette or whatever that was? It was a woman, but she was the priest or whatever of the church. She came on and she was like, that's not the way our blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you know something, lady? Your religion is full of shit, so just shut up. The fucking book has been changed 900 times by humans. Pretty sure, you know, God doesn't change the book. He fucking, oh, this is the word of God. Let's change it 900 times. You're idiots. Fucking bullshit. It's all make-believe. Fucking every single religion. This religion, you wear a hat. This religion, you don't wear a hat. This religion, you cross your fucking T and dot your I on the side. Fucking stupid idiots. And this guy's going to go stand there and hold a Bible. Like, that. oh, thank you. Oh, you really did it. Fucking retards. Like, you're all... Re like, you're retards. You, like, this This place is full of retards. Fuck everybody. Um, now I'm getting pissed off. <laughs> yeah, you guys are p getting me pissed off, man. I'll tell you, man. I'm ready to fucking go. Let's go. Uh, unbelievable. Hinduism is probably the best, Randy Viper. Yeah, I would. You know what? I think you're right. 
I think out of all the religions, Hinduism is the one where it's like, that seems like they're actually peaceful, right? Maybe I'm wrong, though. Maybe there's something in Hinduism that I don't know. Maybe like 7,000 years ago, they killed like 3 billion people or 3 million people. I don't know. Who knows? Who's sure? I, I, there's no problem with believing in religion, but when you when you push a bunch of people out of the way so you can hold the butt, like what the fuck are you doing? I was with him, I was with him until he did that. I was like, hey, he's saying the right things, sounds good to me. Sounds like he's going to keep us secure and everything. All right, cool. You know, Charlemagne thought he said the right things. A couple other people thought he said, all right, all right, and then he fucking went, boom, like let's shove these people out of the way and. It was crazy, dude. Like, all because people said he was hiding in a bunker. He was like, I'll show you hiding in a fucking bunker. I'll show you hiding in a bunker. Dude, is tr- I, like, that's something I would have done. <laughs> anyway, you guys are fucking getting me going. I was going to talk wrestling. I'm just from sexy transva- transvestite from sexual Transylvania. <laughs> Joe, how was the tough enough experience in WWE? Omar, thanks for the seven dollars. Um, I didn't really get to go. I, I really I didn't get picked. I was like the person that was like the backup in case something happened. And like it really never nothing really. I met a lot of the tough enough people. Like we all talked and stuff when that was happening because we all saw each other on the page and saw what we were doing. And it was weird. We were all supporting. They were they were all supporting each other, and I was supporting people too. I I remember um one of the people that I was DMing was I think I was DMing Mandy Rose at the time. I remember we were talking about it, but that and she was nobody. You know, then it was just some girl who had auditioned. You know, and we were talking because we were on the page together or whatever about the um, thing and whatever. And I was like, well, you know, I'm either going to get in shape or I'm going to try to be like a manager and let, you know, see what happens. But if I have to wrestle, I'm ready to wrestle. But I knew that it would be a very rough 45 days to get in shape. Like I began working out and doing cardio in case. And then I knew that I would have about 45 days to get in shape. And that was back in 2000, what, 15 or something like that. So it was like I was in, I wasn't, I hadn't been working out, but I had good cardio, good, good, decent cardio because I still was playing. I had been playing hockey, but not as much after the concussions or whatever. So I don't know. It, it was weird, but yeah, that was about it. That's my only experience. And then the other experience is. You know, dealing with them as far as commentary. After that, I've never heard from them again about wrestling or promos or anything. After that, it was about the commentary. So, the commentary thing wasn't tough enough. That was a separate deal. Um, and obviously, we know that didn't work out. Sandman says, Josh Matthews is my favorite commentator. Sandman, you must be Josh Matthews. Hello, Josh. I like I, I I think Josh is a good guy. He's not one of my favorite commentators though, but I think he's a good guy. I think he's a, I think he's a good he's an okay commentator. I think he's good at what he does. But I'm not um he's not like my favorite commentator though. It's probably like, I mean, I don't know, dude. It's hard to say now. Now looking back, I, like a few years back, I would have automatically said Jr. and King. But when I was a kid, I would have said, you know, Gorilla and Bobby Heenan. So, I, but I, I think I would have to say that my favorite time, an exciting time, I guess it was um, J.R. and King. But then I would say Bobby Heenan and Gorilla. And then I would say probably Vince McMahon and Jerry Lawler. And then um, probably Gorilla and Jesse Ventura. I mean, all those in a list. I mean, Jesse Ventura and Gorilla were great. Let me tell you something, Monsoon. Hulk Hogan is going to say the N-word again. Um. So, I, yeah, I don't know. I guess those are my those are my guys right there. 
you know, I didn't grow up with Gordon Soley. I didn't grow up with uh, Jim Ross in WCW. I didn't really grow up with Tony Schiavone as much. I didn't listen to Tony Schiavone until 1994 to about, you know, when he left 1999. So Tony Schiavone and I liked, I liked, I liked Tony Schiavone. I always thought he was a very solid WCW commentator. I like Tony better than day, uh, than uh, Josh Matthews for sure. Uh, but those are the guys that I named that I really grew up with. You know, Tony Schiavone was always a guy who was really good in WCW, but I just didn't watch a ton of WCW. I kind of hate watch WCW. I watched WCW and I thought, man, these guys, fuck these guys. I hope WWE gets them. Um, you know, but then I would, I, I did like watching WCW though. Now, now I look back fondly on WCW a lot, you know, and I was, but I was a big, you know, Dusty Rhodes fan when I was little. I knew who Dusty Rhodes was. I knew who Ric Flair was, you know, obviously. Um, big fan of them, no matter what I could find of theirs, if it was an NWA tape or something like that. But I didn't see a lot. I probably saw like the same three or four um, tapes of Dusty and Rick that weren't WWF stuff over and over again. So it was crazy. It's crazy. I started watching wrestling at WrestleMania 5. WrestleMania 5, when it came out on VHS... That was the first WrestleMania for me. And then I went back and watched 1 to 5 over and over again for years, leading up to WrestleMania 6 and watching SummerSlams and Royal Rumbles. And so I really got into WWE right at the right time in the 80s, in 87, 88, whatever year it was. 89, it might have been 89, I don't know. 88, 89, I don't know. But um, yeah, it was, it was a man, I, I love that I, I saw all those generations. I'm happy about that. I forgot that I had the phone lines on. I see like 70 people called, but I just saw one. 305, hello. Hey, Joe, this is Anthony. What's up, man? Hey, Joe, what's your opinion on Mike Tanay from TNA? Uh, I like Mike Tanay. Yeah, I think Mike Tanay is good. He's, he's been really good, man. I, I, I don't, like, I, I never gave him enough time, enough respect or whatever. But when I go back and I watch some old stuff with him and Don and a couple other people, like I'm like, damn, that guy was solid as hell. So yeah, I he really... was in, in WC. You realize he was in WCW with uh, Tony Schiavone. With yeah, Tony Schiavone. So yeah, that that's odd. Why why do people why do people hate him so much? Is my question. Do people I've, really hate him? I, I, like who hates him? Like yeah, like no, like, like as an announcer. Is what I'm saying. I think. I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe it's that when he was starting to announce in TNA, it was kind of like, man, I'm like, oh, enough, you know, get some new guys or something like that. I, I felt like I heard that a little bit, like, oh, get get new announcers or whatever, because he's got such an old school vibe, maybe. And what's your opinion? Was 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 Jim Cornette ever an announcer, like a play by play announcer? Was Jim Cornette? Oh yeah, Jim Cornette was great. He he filled in. Um, he filled in for probably Jim uh, for Jerry the King Lawler a couple times in 98, 97 or something. And uh, he obviously did a lot of announcing in OVW. So, yeah, Jim Cornette, j just as good on color as you would think he, he would be. He's great. Oh, and this is a question I asked you in the chat. What if WWE signed both uh, Gunner? Undertaker's son and Steve Bourne Jr. to contracts, how would you book them and would you put them directly into the main roster or send them to NXT first? <clears throat> I put those guys in NXT probably, especially the Undertaker's son. I didn't even know he was trying to be a wrestler. Is he really trying to be a wrestler? Yeah, there there was an article uh, yeah. Wow. There was like He could be the he new said, He could be the new it, Undertaker. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How about Steve? How how about uh, Steve, uh, Sting's son, Steve Junior? Um, uh, potentially, you know, potentially. Um, I'm sure these guys would, but I would think they would if they go anywhere that they would go to to the developmental of WWE. They'd want to put them down in developmental, and um, you know, those guys might actually like that because they'd feel like they're getting taken care of the right way, as opposed to going anywhere in the country to an independent wrestling training place and you don't know who the trainer whatever but i know that sting has all kinds of connections so he'd probably wherever wherever these guys kids would go you know it would be somewhere where they trust somebody or something like that by the way the police are making a statement about what's going on with what with that old guy getting shoved 
Um, and this, yeah, well, whatever. We'll talk about that later, I guess. But thanks for the call, man. Anthony, appreciate it, dude. Thank you guys for the donations. Let me go back to him. You donated 50 Jesus. bucks. I'm going to take my dick out because you donated <laughs> 50 bucks. Whoa. You donated 50 bucks, motherfuck boy. I'm a rich motherfucker. Time to play all the game. It's time to play all the game. Man in black dropping another hot $50 tonight as I'm doing this solo ranting and raving Q&A podcast where, by the way, my opinions are just my opinions. I could be, I probably am very wrong about a lot of things. So remember that. I don't think I'm some glorious person. You may be in the chat disagreeing with me, and I appreciate it if you do. And if you um, tell me, man, I, I, I certainly, I appreciate it. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? So don't you worry about that. Thank you, man in black. Time to lay the tarts. Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's it. Bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Joe, thanks for everything you do. When someone asks me which celebrity slash popular person would I hang out with if I had the chance, I say Joe Cronin. The internet wow. god. You're the only person I watch every day. You make me forget shitty days and turn it. Wow. Randy Viper. I am the internet god. I am the internet god, Randy Viper. What else we got? I oh, love you, Randy. A little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. Thanks, Randy. I want to see Cross and Camp a double penetrating scarlet and cream pie in her at the same time. Contangle, thank you, Contangle, for the donation. Thanks, Randy Viper, for saying that, man. I'm like, oh, I really appreciate that, dude. I'd definitely hang out with you. We'd have a good time. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a goofball in real life, so it would be funny. Probably be funny. I'm a whack job. But I am the internet god, according to Randy Viper. I am. not good church music to be honest you know well, this is gonna be better this is, this is too this is too good looks like piano music i want some like scary roman catholic shit you know what i mean like give me some like you know some real stuff none of this is good man What is this? None of this ain't good enough for church. We need some real stuff, like, like, like some real stuff. This stuff sucks. You know? What the hell is that? Where do these songs exist? Sing it in the Kermit voice. My Kermit the Frog. I don't know. In Oregon, that's what I'm saying, man. We need some real scary church music. Like, I'm talking about, like, scary. Like, you know, where is this? Is this one? I don't know. This stuff so is terrible. None of this is good. Hold on, let me see. This 
this stuff is terrible. Like, I mean, we can't get better stuff than this. It's embarrassing. What is this? Sounds like Pink Floyd, uh, the division bell. What the hell is this? What is, I mean, I like it. It sounds kind of ambient actually, but I mean, I'm looking for the, the really good stuff. This is like sad. What, what is this? This is like the most, what, what is this? There we go. There you go. I say, listen to me. Listen to the word of Joe Cronin. You're an it guy. There's a reason why you're here today. You're here to be healed, son. All my daughters, all my brothers, all my sisters of every color, creed, race, and religion, you are here for one reason, so I can lift you up to the sky and deliver you to the almighty arms. You know you have greatness inside of you. You know you've been undervalued your whole entire life. And when you finally had that one vision, that one motivation, your mother said you can't do it. Your uncle said you can't do it. Your job said you can't do it. Somebody told you to know your role. But the whole time, you knew you were better than that. And that's why you're gonna donate five dollars to me. That's why you're gonna donate five dollars to me. That's why you're gonna donate five dollars to me. In the description box down below, and the super chats are gonna roll in. And when you give that five dollars, whatever you put into the Joe Cronin show, you're gonna give that much back to yourself, and you're gonna take it. And tomorrow, you're gonna unleash it into the world. Bigger, brighter, and greater than you ever did before. And what you're gonna find is the world is gonna give it back to you tenfold. When you plant a seed, a tree grows. When you drink a glass of water, your body replenishes itself and thrives. And when you give the Joe Cronin Show five dollars, you feel the good. You feel the power. And it radiates through your body and absorbs all the world has to give back to you as you become one with the earth and environment. Sorry, I've lost my mind. I'm <laughs> what is gone? What? <laughs> Oh my good god, dude, Leah's upstairs right now. I can hear she I, I I heard her upstairs, dude. I heard her go. What what the fuck? <laughs> um, but it's true, ma'am. The world will give back to you. And it's kind of crazy when it does, but it happens. And the trees do grow from the seeds. It's all stuff that can happen. It's what amazing. else we got? Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, <laughs> a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Can you react to your TLC 2018 rant? Um, okay. That's pretty random. <clears throat> my daughter wants, my daughter sent me a message a little while ago wanting me to go upstairs. Sultan of Swing. Thank you for the donation of three dollars. TLC two thousand. Right, I'll check it out. Thank you. My daughter sent me a message a little while ago, looking for me to. I didn't hear what she said because I was listening to the donation. Thank you, Sultan. I'll take a look and see if we can do that. Ah. Uh -uh. 
podcast friend for, for a few minutes. And you why? Because I'm coming up and I'm going to I'm gonna do a count out into five, three, two, one. And then can you come upstairs, like up, up upstairs in mommy's bedroom and cuddle with us for a few? <laughs> that was funny. That was from earlier. I put them to bed, gave them showers, put them to bed, and then they got up together and they're just playing and doing stuff. And here is the man who's friends with scumbags, Tommy NC. Scumbag? Well, I'm, not you, I'm not, not... not you, not you, Tommy. I'm, I said, I, I meant like Mark. Now, how you doing though? What's up? Not much, man. I thought I'd just call and give in some love and see how you're doing tonight. Give me some love. Re what I want you to do right now, Tommy, I want you to do, we're all doing this here. We've all been doing this all night. Take your hand, okay? Depends on what am Take I your saying? Hand. Put your hand up in the air. And then mm -hmm. just, and now wiggle your fingertips back and forth like this. Like I'm, I'm wiggling my fingertips around, like wiggle, wiggle them around. And now slowly close your hand, but don't close it all the way. Close it so, so it makes like a face puppet, like you can talk with your fingers, you know, you, da, 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 right where it gets to be about an inch left and then stop so that your hands make like a mouth and a face. Okay. That's exactly what it would look like if my dick was in your hand right now. Screw you, Joe. <laughs> No, this is what would happen if I held your dick in my... I'm going to clip that. Um, what else is what? up, man? How you doing? Not much. Just watching uh, some old videos on my YouTube channel. Just watching YouTube and uh, just chilling. You know. AJ Adams it's... says, uh, thanks, Joe, because of you and Twitter. I'm the number one racist on Twitter. What are you talking about? AJ Adams, what the hell did what who nobody called you racist? What the hell are you talking about? Nobody called you racist. Who called you what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> what are you saying? Uh go ahead, Tommy. I'm sorry. I'm just chilling. I've been watching uh YouTube and stuff like that. Just hanging out, play a little GTA five. Oh man, the servers went down today for GTA five for a couple hours. I I didn't I don't really play online anymore because uh I, I got logged out of my account so I can't even like buy I can't even buy cards anymore for that. Huh. Well um Yeah man, I mean, you know, people are um people are ready to uh, hunt down Pony Man. Pony man, why why they want to hunt him down for like? Well, he took down their favorite episode of Monetize This in the last like six months. Well, and here's the thing, Joe. Like, uh, the thing is that I didn't upload that video to poke fun at, at, you know, uh, at um, Mark. I just uploaded it because it was a throwback and it was my video, so the video technically can't get striked because he was featured in one of my videos. So yeah, well, well, technically, all we did was play like forty seconds of his video. It was all fair use. Okay, like I guess I guess Mark in his mind thought that you were bullying him, <laughs> making fun of him, and I I and here's the thing, I have no idea how he found that video, mm -hmm. Joe, and I and I want to I know that you were kind of like hinting to me. That I sent him the video, which I didn't send him the video, hmm. which he came to me and said, why are they bullying me? Why are they making fun of me? And I'm like, I have no idea. Joe just but, does but, what he but does. But you put up a video of Keemstar laughing at him when he sees all the ponies. And well, stuff. as you see in the video, I'm sticking up for him. I'm sticking up for him. I'm like, Keem, stop laughing at him. Like, you know. Yeah, but, you, but it's still Keem laughing at his ponies. It's an embarrassing video for him. Like, and he doesn't have a problem with that. And he told me the reason why he took it down was, yeah, because he was mad that we were making fun of him. But I, I feel like, isn't this, isn't this like almost the same thing? How, I don't see how my video and your video relate in the same pattern. I just don't see how the two connect together and how you could think that the two are connecting. I don't know why you're always trying to connect the dots. And what do you mean like why that? I am always connecting the dots? Everybody connected the dots. Everybody messaged me today. Hey, Joe, isn't it weird that this guy just took down your took down monetize this and now Tommy's putting up a video where Keemstar is basically making fun of him and then Tommy puts that up on his channel and it's okay with the guy? Everybody said this to me today. 
the whole fucking I had like my fucking shit blew up and I was like what do you mean and I'm like Tommy put up that video from like three years ago and like it's just it's, it's throwback it's, Thursday it's Thursday today so it was throwback Thursday so like, yeah but this guy's just, this guy's a pussy so like he's not mad at you but he's mad at us because we were laughing at him for a second on a video that like I was showing an old video too like that wasn't even the original video that was the old video <laughs> I don't know. It's it's just I can't explain Mark. I can't explain him. Uh, that's what I'm saying, man. It's, it's, he's he's okay, a scumbag. Here's the thing. If Mark legitimately came to me and said, Tommy, could you take down the video? I don't like it. I would. I would take down the video. Mark hasn't come to me and say that to well, me. Well, he didn't come to me either. He just went after the fucking video. Instead of messaging me, he just went, like, I'm going to strike this thing. All because he didn't like it. I don't know. I just, it's just weird, dude. It's weird timing. It's bizarre. A week after this happens, like, then you put up a video from three years ago that, that literally is making fun of him. Like, it's so, it's so bizarre. Like, the guy's a freak. Well, on top of that, if you look on top of that, I'm defending Mark in the video. I'm defending him. Like, I'm saying, Keem, stop it. Like, it doesn't like, matter. That's everybody like, has their own likes. Like I'm, I'm defending him. Well, that's like, what I told him that I said, dude, like you can like whatever you want. We like you on the show. We actually like you. We just making fun of everything. It's funny. Uh, I said, there's people that dress up like Ninja Turtles and shit. I, I love the Ninja Turtles. I'm a Star Trek fan. I dress up as a Star Trek person. I'm a geek. I get it. I don't have a problem with him dressing up like pony and pony shit. But at any point, were you guys suggesting that he was a pedophile? Because he's a brony. Because everybody everybody throws it out there about bronies all the time know. that they're pedophiles. I mean, I, just because they do that. I don't think I did that. I just said he... I probably made jokes that he was going to fuck his, his ponies. He's going to drill a hole in them or something. So he's basically like JD is all there is all it is. Like, he got all butthurt. Except for JD sent a lawyer after me. Mark Hyder just attacked the channel. Um... But whatever, this always happens to me. It's fine, whatever. It's it's classic. If I was JB, I'd quit everything and leave. But whatever. Um, what else is going on? Not much, man. I uh, I did. I had a great interview today uh, with the YouTuber, and that's going to be up on Sunday. Did I say and that? Does anybody know if I said that he was a, <laughs> he's a pedo or something? <laughs> Somebody tell me if I did. Uh, he should have told me that when I talked to him. By the way, he should have said like, I didn't like that you called me this, and I could have fucking well. There really wouldn't have been able to think anything I could have done. It still would have had to come down. I'm sorry, Tommy. Go back to what you're saying. Um, I interviewed uh, a YouTuber for, that runs that YouTube channel uh, before they were famous today. Yeah. You know what I you had should a great do? interview with him you should today. In, you should interview me, and I'll hang myself live on your channel. Oh, that's horrible, Joe. If you hung yourself, who would take care of your kids? Maybe you could, maybe you could take care of them. Oh. <laughs> You know what I mean? Maybe you could... Uh... Nah, Joe, I'm not ready to take care of kids. You you need to be there for the long haul to take care of your kids and take care of Leah and maybe, stuff maybe, like that, maybe, you know? Maybe Leah's pussy... I think that... Maybe Leah's pussy needs a cleaning out. I think you're going to be like Keemstar. I think you're going to be here until the end, until you're an old man and you're pushing around a cane. I mean, I think you're right. Because if I think I, I, think if I had to go back to my old uh, full-time jobs... I probably would razor myself, to be honest, Tommy. So I hope you become a patron, Tommy. Because there's no going back now. If I had to go back to fucking cleaning up shit in a, in a grocery store and fucking uh, working in customer service as a, as a boss again and answering the phones and doing data reports and sending emails to people, Tommy, I would razor blade myself on your front porch and blame it on you. I don't Joe, really. have a front porch. I just have a walkway <laughs> i don't have out all this stuff i said i don't have a front porch <laughs> joe but... leah's pussy needs a cleaning out <laughs> <laughs> tommy man i love you um but yeah but man um... it's just a little walkway with a with a doormat on there that's all it is and yeah. like i wish i honestly had a front porch to sit out and watch the sunset come up and go down and just like uh, that's everybody's dream is to have that white picket fence and that, that two story house, which you you technically have cashed in that dream. You don't have the white picket fence, but you have the two story house. I kinda got know. the white picket fence. I what? got a I got a white fence in the backyard. 
I kind of got a white picket fence. Well, you know, you're, you're living the you're living the American dream. I am now. Living I mean, it threats. was only remember it was only a year and a half ago that I was in my mother's house in a single room and I wanted to die. Like, I mean, it wasn't that long ago. We saved 15 years. It took 15 years. Uh, took 15 years to get here. Was it a house of stone? We built this city on Joe Cronin. We built this city on Joe Cronin. Built this city. There you go. There's the there's the fence. My daughter was on it the other day. Ah. It's a white fence. Which I, I gotta say, you know, your daughter reminds me of that uh, uh, character from that uh, Disney movie. What's the name of it? Uh. She shoots bow and arrows and stuff like that. Oh, um, um, Meredith or whatever. Um, I, yeah, I can't remember the name, uh, but uh, she, she uh, would always shoot bow and arrows. I can't remember the name of the movie, but she looks exactly like her. Uh, like the girl from Entangled or whatever, Merida. Yeah, I think that's I think that's her it's from Ta from Tangled. May I think it's called Tangled with the red hair. Yes. That's one mm -hmm. of her, that's one of her favorite movies. Yeah, she does have red hair like that. You've been thinking a lot about my daughter, huh? No. No, I don't think about your daughter. Your daughter likes to talk to me when I call you on, on DM. She's like, hi, hi, no, hi. Yeah, it's funny. What did she say the oh, what did she say the other day? Damn it. What did I did I put this up, guys? Didn't I put this up somewhere? You're yeah, a yeah. poop face. Like she at one point she looks at me and she says, oh. You're a poop face face or something like that i was like i know what? what it is i think i put it on twitter i think she said she said something about you the other day oh here it is listen to this oh you won't be able to hear this actually shit well everybody else will be able to hear this and i'll tell her what you i'll tell you what she says listen to this that's the guy you like <laughs> watch this tommy i'm gonna tell you what she says in a second Dad, who's better, a fart or a fart? What are you, Tommy NC2010? <laughs> no, you. <laughs> Dude, I went, she goes, what's better, a fart or a fart? And I go, Ugh. I go, what's wrong with you, Brenna? I'm like, what are you, Tommy NC2010? And she goes, no. <laughs> then she goes, ew. <laughs> but she's full of crap because she loves you and she always wants to talk to you on the phone. Yeah, like whenever I, I sometimes I'll call Joe, sometimes like on Facebook Messenger, and when I'm talking to him, Brenda will run up and be like, "Hi, hi, hi, hi!" <laughs> like, like going a thousand miles per hour, energy wise, and like, like a jackrabbit bunny, you know, you know. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> oh. Uh, what? I said Jack Rabbit Bunny. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Nothing, Dommy. Um, all right, man. I guess I better get out of here. But uh, well, tomorrow. I hope you have this energy for monetize this tomorrow because you're in rare form right now. I'll tell you that. I'm. I'm always. Uh, I'm always uh, ready and ready for the shows and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, baby. You are. Are you ready, Tommy? Are you ready? It's Brenna, not Brenda. It's, it's Brenna, not Brenda, though. Oh, uh, Brenda. Sorry. Brenna. 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 No Brend. Was... No D. Sorry. You always forget that. It's funny. <laughs> ah, Brenda. No, I get it. So it's different. It's a different name. Not many people have that name. There was a girl. Oh, there was a lady uh, in my work. I didn't see the pay-per-view, but I saw that the uh, one of the particular wrestlers uh, got another contract again, got another chance at, at a contract uh, for WWE again because he was going to be fired. Yeah, the Drake Maverick thing. Yeah, look like I can't tell if they s planned it from the beginning that way or if they changed their minds or what happened. But yeah, yeah, I was doing that in my review earlier from NXT yesterday. It was Drake Maverick. So, it was so you're cool. telling me Drake Maverick gets a second chance at getting a getting a deal for a wrestling contract. So, but every other Zack Ryder, all the other wrestlers were canned are not going to get a contract to come back. Basically WWE's just 
well, dumping them like they're unused trash. Yeah, That's th- basically what I'm understanding here. I think he's the only one that got a story out of it. And I think the story, they may have done it on purpose to get the story out of it. So I don't know. But many of those other wrestlers may come back. So they they some of those wrestlers may still come back. They're just not on the... Um, you know, they're just not on the payroll right now, so I don't know. But, you know, that's what they, they had too many people hired. I mean, you know, it was too many people. I thought Zach was doing a good job with the uh, YouTube series where he would go collecting wrestling wrestling figures. I thought that was really good. Who's that? I thought they should have kept him doing that. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that stuff was pretty good on YouTube. Yeah, I definitely get it. Well, Tommy, I'm going to get out of here, man. I'm, I'm going to move on, but I appreciate you calling, and we'll do it honestly soon. I know you hit me up earlier about it, but I wasn't around. And uh, monetize this tomorrow night. I'm going to rub one out on you. Ew. Yeah, that was, uh, you, good night, Joe. I didn't mean to say that. Uh, all right. Good night, Tommy. I'll see you later, man. <laughs> yeah, my daughter does talk to, does like talking to Tommy, though. And then I tell her, man, I'm telling you. I love how... <laughs> what are you, Tommy NC? Ew. That was golden. I'm going to marry John Cena. She loves John Cena. Dad, who's better... A fart or a fart? Were you Tommy and C twenty ten? No, you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's better, a fart or a fart? Were you Tommy and C twenty ten? No, you. <laughs> mhm. Okay. <Fist bump? laughs> Is him old enough right now to go f- to be a centaur? <clears throat> Who's better? Oh my god, that killed me. By the way, uh, the year 2020. The year 2020 can die, 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 die. <laughs> I only play a donation. What's up, guys? Super chat. Super chat. <laughs> uh, Luigi kid 138 man thank you for for tipping me with $2 $2 super chat thank you very much thank you what else we got oh a little bit of the bubbly that's it want some bubbly, some bubbly? look at this stuff oh oh a little bit of the bubbly that's it <laughs> all of this stuff going on is making my head hurt I already have the intelligence of a cucumber. I don't know how much more I can take before I explode. Can't believe the outrage over Drew Brees. Um, <coughs> I can see what, I can see what why people are mad at him, but you know, I just don't take it too far. He really stepped in the way of a moving bus or a, whatever you want to say in the, in the highway, though. Robbie Hyde. He really should have just. Man should have just kept quiet. Here we go I'm about to get you know, him, man. I don't know. Here we go I'm about to get him, man. He needs a go. publicist or go. something. Oh, 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 There's no. Luigi Kid again. I saw one guy said he lost respect for the rock him pissed. Luigi Kid, I saw one guy said he lost respect for the rock. I'm pissed. Really? Man, I, I listen, I don't know how people can be mad at the rock. I I the rock even said like he even threw out there something that a lot of times people don't like, which is he even said, like, listen, all lives matter. All our lives matter. Really, they do. But right now, here's what I'm saying, blah, blah, blah. So like, he really tried to to say it, like, say this all great. I, I like I don't nobody has to agree with him. You know what I mean? But I mean, I thought he stood up and did a I thought what he did was good. I, I didn't think it was Hollywood. I mean, he's a little bit late. Are, isn't all of Hollywood late? Where's all the Hollywood people that always complain? They just finally started speaking yesterday. Everybody's been quiet. So I don't know, man. It's, who cares? I accept everybody's right to all their opinions, though, and I don't... Why isn't WWE contract info not released like pro sports? That's all ESPN talk shows talk about all day. You would think it would make WWE more interesting. Enemy gold. That's a great point. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Probably because the entertainment factor and they're a different entity because of that. Um. So I don't know. Enemy gold. They're saying that the they're saying that the cops that shoved that old guy over, they thought he was reaching for their gun. And he, I mean, he was weird, but he was an old guy. 
75 year old man in critical condition critical but stable 75 he was a little virtuous but you know. hey joe what do you think of this conspiracy theory prediction with all the chaos going on do you think the government or whoever will start putting a lot of pressure on entertainment industry to come out with the newest ghoulest shit to calm people down <laughs> i don't know pacify me daddy i don't know i don't know about that conspiracy theory but i know that this is definitely part of taking away entertainment being locked in a house maybe not being able to do things you want to do being pushed around because of, because you had to be because of the virus and uh well, yeah got, no sports oh, a little bit of the bubbly that's and it. police brutality it. Bubbly? mix it all stuff. together oh oh a little bit of the bubbly that's it. That's i'm just waiting for them to sell a fully robotic companion so she can give me that vacuum sealed double handed twisted gawk gawk 360 turbo spitting toe curling orgasmic feeling ass jiggling life like lubricated eight such and speed tight pussy boy <coughs> hot face so quite all, honestly, all you need to do, El Gallo, the way the white man says it, El Gallo de Oro. All you need to do is, I don't know if you guys have ever worn those VR sets, but if you wear a VR set and download VR porn, it it, it feels like the girl's on top of you. Like when like there's videos with the chick in front of you rubbing herself and on top of the guy. You really can't see that though. You just see the girl. And she's like jumping and humping. Dude, it feels like you're there. It almost feels 100% like you're there. It's crazy. So instead of that, what I would say is what they'll probably make is these dolls that feel like real women. But you won't need to make a doll look like a real woman. You'll only need to make a robotic doll that moves the exact same way the VR porn girl is moving. And there'll be like eight different ones. There'll be eight videos. There'll be the girl and she does everything. There'll be the girl that goes behind. There'll be the girl that gets on you. There'll be the other girl that does this and that. And the robot will do all the same movements programmed to make all the same movements. And it will, it will exactly match up with the chick in the video. It's something like that. And then so you put the robot thing on you. You start the movie and the robot starts doing all the stuff. And the girl in the video is doing all the stuff. And so it will be like that. But yeah, they are making sex dolls right now that are like $10,000 to $12,000. And they're like super scary real. One of the criticisms that they went under recently, a couple of years ago, I think we talked about this on a Monetize This. Back on Monetize This, like 50 or something like that. Uh, it was like five years ago. Um, the, the girls, the one thing that was creepy was the girls looked young. Like, <laughs> like they, like they looked young. So it was kind of creepy. So that was the one thing that they were criticized for. What else we got? I'm sure they're oh, coming. Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Let's get our minds off all the stupid shit going on. If you could go back to any point in time in wrestling, what storyline would you have changed the outcome of? One of the things that I always would have, I thought, Robbie Hyde, that I always would have changed was, um, I would have changed Stone Cold turning heel at WrestleMania against The Rock. I think Stone Cold should have just straight up beat The Rock and been the good guy. And Triple H and Booker T, I would have changed that one. What else we got? Um, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. And mixed with black and white and Indian him a red crack and I and him giving your wife big dick racism and a tomahawk cop in her pussy are you yeah. <laughs> so you're filled with um, land and prejudice and racism and I don't know all kinds of stuff AJ Adams I love you man you're the man black white and Indian well, I mean, me being Irish and English, I'm the same way. My people have all taken and then been slaves. Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. It's all mixed That's up. Too. Bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's if Black Lives Matter, they'd stop killing each other. 
Nine unarmed blacks were killed by police in 2019 compared to 1,000 unarmed blacks that were killed by other blacks. Where are the calls for change for that? Racism a number one recruitment tool of the left. Um, that's true. True numbers. Liberal agenda. Thanks for the $3. I don't know, man. Nobody can argue with those numbers, so I don't know. I don't get... I don't... I don't know. I don't understand that part of it. This is what it's like to watch Monday Night. Who? Oh, what the hell am I, I do understand. That? What the fuck? I changed my mind. I do understand. I got an answer for you when I come back. I got an answer for that one. Man, this wrestling give me a disease. Oh, Monday Night Raw sucks. Oh, SmackDown Live also sucks. And oh. If they call someone up from NXT, I know they're gonna get really bad quickly. Oh, I wanna die. Wrestling die. I wanna die. Every Monday night. I saw one guy in the comments said he lost respect for The Rock and him pissed. Fuck him, Luigi kid. Fuck that guy. The Rock is the man. Thank you for the $15 super chat. I have an answer for that previous donator. Luigi kid, thank you, man, for all your support tonight. Seriously. So you said, why Why is it that a thousand people that are dead because black on black violence versus the nine dead by police? And you said black lives, whatever. They apparently don't, whatever. I'll tell you why. I'm going to tell you the answer right now. Are you ready for the answer? This is the answer. All of that crime is violence or criminal or gang related or drug related, um, which is bad. And they are upset about it and they are working to try to fix that problem. Now, the reason why they're in that problem is because of many years of the previous oppression and poverty and where they started it's hard to get out of the hole when you're in the hole when you start in the hole when you start at the bottom it's hard to get out of it that's why some uh, many many black people do get out of it but a lot of them don't many irish americans when they first came to america they were poor dirt poor and nothing they were able to get out of it a little bit mostly but i saw a lot of people in south boston who were poor in the 90s White, poor Irish people. The difference is you don't expect police officers who are supposed to be serve and protect peaceful officers to be the ones killing you. If a criminal kills you, that's bad. But you sort of understand like, okay, there's bad people and criminals. This is bad. But what you don't think and expect is a police officer to kill you because of weird negligence. Um, you would have had a better comparison if you compared the, the the killings of white people by the police, which is high. So if you'd, if you'd compared the police numbers, it would have been better. But just comparing why people have that perception is because they think that it's police. You're supposed to be the police. Um, when you pull people over, they're scared. It's a different thing. But the police do this to white people too, all right? So I've seen it. It's happened. I've witnessed the police doing this to many different people. But anyway, that's my point is your point of a thousand people dead versus nine and why it's a big deal is because of that. I, that I'm not saying I'm saying that I'm 100% in this agreement of why that is. I'm just telling you, you, you asked why, and I'm explaining to you that the difference is police officers, they're supposed to take extra care with us. They're supposed to protect our all of us. So when they fuck up, people freak out. Um, I said that, uh, w w w remember when the cops killed the white guy they, in his apartment and he put his hands out and he was like coming out in the apartment and they shot him anyway. Or the white guy that was killed by the cops when the, the guy called the police on a random house, even though that house had nothing to do with anything. Some guy gave the doxer the, just someone else's information and said, fine, go ahead and dox me. Go ahead and swap me. Here's my number. 
and then he gave out some other person's number. Then they did. They swatted him. The dumb swatter actually thought the guy gave him his address. So then he swatted the guy. The cop showed up and killed him. So, you know, th but the bottom line is it's a problem for everybody. So, you know, there you go. But, I mean, you asked why they perceive it that way. I'm, I'm just answering your, that's the reason. <clears throat> Um, I've seen some of I've seen the cops handle s some bad situations before, but I haven't seen what some of my I've some of my black friends. I brought it up to one of my black friends one time. I was like, "Dude, I said I I don't know. I feel like the cops here are better." He goes, "No," and I said, "Dude, well, what do they do to you? Because I've had cops put the gun in my face before and and like do all kinds of weird stuff to me." He's like, yeah, that's bad. He's like, but I've had, you know, he explained to me this and that and what they've done. And, what, you know, they've broken a taillight on his dad's car one time and just weird shit. And I'm like, God damn, are you serious? And the guy never lies about anything. And this was back before people virtue signaled. So he wasn't like making it up to try to be like, oh, no, they do stuff. And so his opinion of them was that. But we also teach our kids to be scared of cops in those places. So it also builds out... um you know how people say people get raised a certain way. You you taught people, you teach people racism. Well, you also teach people fear. So if you teach people that the cops are these horrific people, and then they do anything to you, you you're like super crazy about them. And if you don't, if you teach your kids when they're little that the cops are the good guys and they're so good and they're the good guys, you have a different perception of them. So even so. While the brutality does happen to blacks more than anybody else, um, uh, proportionately, but then other people would say, well, the crime happens more in those areas, so that's why they deal with police more. So is there a right answer to all this? I don't know. I'm not the one to tell you. You guys would probably know better than me. I'm just explaining to you what they, they would what they would say in regards to what you're saying. Check Tony Stone's Instagram. She's dating Juice Robinson. Damn. <coughs> Reminds me of the Israel police. Funny thing is, a lot of them cops are trained by U.S. cops. <laughs> I, I know a lot of cops myself that are great, so I, it's hard for me to say it because I just know I know great cops that are great, good people. But I've experienced shitty cops, so I know what you're talking about. I think You think Biggie and Tupac faked their death? What are they, jerking off each other? Um, future of AEW commentary team, Cody and Jericho, is it possible? Well, I think Jericho will be the guest announcer this week. I don't know about the future of AEW's commentary, though. I don't know. I wish I'd be. A hire me, AEW. Come on, please hire me. I'm, re I'm ready to go. Um, Let's go. Let's get the young guys in there, man. It's time. What is it? 2020? I'm 35 years old. I thought at 28 I'd be the, the announcer for WWE. That didn't happen. It's 2020. There's not much time left. Let's do this. Hire somebody who's younger who can be the new guy. What are we doing? Or at least get the next guys ready for like when JR, if he leaves that position in the next one to five years, you know? What else we got? Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Joe, I just watched the TLC 2018 mm. rant of you. I am dying. It is, uh, it is a wild one. It is a wild one. It's the wild, wild west, brother. I remember that I, w I was not happy. I was not happy with, with whatever. What is this shit? was a sleeper because I didn't give a damn almost about anything and the few things that I gave a damn about I couldn't give a damn about for example before we get into anything else Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles I just couldn't give a fuck about that match because I know and we knew and we said and he said she said they said that AJ Styles <laughs> dropped the belt because he didn't want it anymore because of the schedule. And not only because of the schedule, but he's in a contract dispute still. So we know that AJ Styles isn't going to win. 
it was a good match. It was okay. It was a long match that I fell asleep in the middle of, by the way. And everything before it was horseshit, basically. And then we finally get to something that I think I might care about. Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. But there's no ladders. There's no chairs at TLC. Why wasn't this a ladder match for the belt? And in the main event, you see, because they didn't want to take away from that. Fine. Well, you're left with what we got tonight. And by the way, Dean Ambrose and Seth, match was ruined by commentary. By AIDS-infested fucking commentary. That's what it was. AIDS-infested commentary. Renee Young, I want you to go dig under your fucking bedroom, your blankets, under your bed for the high heels that you got in there somewhere. You know you got those high heels with a big fucking point that just sticks out and you watch a woman walk and you're like, any minute she's gonna break her fucking ankle, any minute her ankle's gonna snap the fuck off like the Patriots Super Bowl dreams! Any minute! Or maybe they'll be like the Boston Bruins season this year! This just goes to shit! But it doesn't. But what I do want you to do, Renee, is I want you to pick up that 17,000 inch long tiny little pencil dick Kevin Dunn high heel slipper or shoe or dress shoe, whatever the hell you call it, and pick it up. That's what. <laughs> My God, Renee Young on commentary. I, I would pay money to see starving kids die if it meant I wouldn't have to listen to Renee Young on commentary. I would pay money to watch kids who don't have any dinner, food, or presents to wither away and die and suffer if I didn't have to listen to Renee Young's goddamn voice on commentary. I wonder why the ratings are going down. I wonder why the ratings are going down. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe, why don't you shut up, dude? WWE's making more money than they've ever made before. WWE's making the most money than they've ever made before. Oh, yeah? Then why is no one showing up in the arena? I don't care if they're making money cuz soon they ain't gonna be making nothing cuz there'll be no fans you fucking nitwits And if it wasn't a problem, then why is Vince McMahon showing up to shake things up again? <laughs> Most of you out there the WWE audience the WWE is only gonna have the fucking geriatrics left by the time this fucking thing is done, okay? By the time the WWE gets done with their audience, the only people you're gonna see out there are fucking retarded four-year-olds who have no idea what's going on anyway, or other guys going, <laughs> That's all you're gonna have left in the fucking audience, WWE, because this shit isn't getting it done at all! Fuck you! Fuck me! Fuck us! Okay, let me tell you something. Let me fucking tell you something, you stupid fucking asshole cocksuckers. You stupid casual fucking fat, usually hairy, fat, nasty motherfuckers who can barely speak, who want to talk about me, who want to talk about other people out there that tell the truth about WWE. Where's that stupid cocksucker who called out JD a while ago? I hate to stand up for fucking Mustang fucking retard, man, but I'm going to do it. Where's that guy who called out JD? Where is that fucking millennial fuck? Um... Where is cocksucker? People like this hairy fucking nitwit are why this shit is the way it is. Not to mention Vince McMahon, the fucking special needs fuck in the back who thinks he can just coast along. Oh, it's time to shake things up. What are you going to shake up on Monday, Vince? Are you going to come in like you did the other three times when things were at the lowest? Remember when the ratings took a dive and then Vince is coming to shake things up and we all said, Oh my God, they're finally changing stuff. Oh, they changed the set. Oh, they changed the set. Oh, there's no more pyro, but they changed the set. Oh, the digital boards, the whole ramp is digital. Oh, they're doing <laughs> something. The logo changed. Oh, it's going back to, I don't know what's going to happen. No, you just shuffled the same motherfuckers around and around and around, but you never shuffle the fucking creative team around. Renee Young, sh fucking kill yourself, Renee Young. I hate you, Renee Young. I hate you. On commentary, you fucking suck. Everybody who's the third announcer, Coachman, where are you, Coachman? You bald fucking goddamn Hershey bar. You suck. Booker T sucks somehow. I would suck a cock. I would suck a big fucking goddamn cock right now if I could have Booker T on this commentary team. I will take Booker T over this shit any day of the week. 
Oh, they're beating the shit out of Cormid. Oh, look at them. Now they can finally shine. Shucky ducky quack quack. The fuck does that oh God, mean Jake's they can there. finally shine? Shine my shoes, bitch. You suck. <laughs> and it's Vince McMahon's fault or it's whoever's in the back's fault reading their lines. This is a company. Oh, I'm so glad Vic Joseph is here. Wow, I'm so glad that you didn't hire me, WWE, as an announcer. I can't believe you wouldn't hire me, but you hired the fucking data from Star Trek, Vic Joseph, to be an announcer. He's about as entertaining as my fucking left nutsack in the night. Well, I'm sleeping at night, and my left <laughs> testicle is the one that's bigger than the right one. Usually in a man, the left testicle sticks out a little bit in a weird way. It's just a, it's a look, Google it. It's real. That's what you are, Vic Joseph. You're just bobbing around, bobbing around, bobbing around, bobbing around. I'm bobbing around. I'm just here. I just look like a pretty boy newscaster. That's why they hired me. I have no excitement. I have no intensity. I have no passion. I have no words of my own. I just simply call it right down the middle like a boring piece of shit Michael Cole you shut up goddamn oh Michael Cole I'm gonna rip your fucking tattoos off you think you're so hard you think you're hard with those fucking tattoos I'm gonna rip your your goddamn tattoos off Michael Cole <laughs> what the fuck is this show breaking their ass bone and hip god damn do these girls even know how to fucking not hurt themselves everybody just watched New Japan too much does everybody watch New Japan now and everybody just gotta slap gotta slap Gotta slap, stiff, slap, uh, uh, thud, 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 thud. This is not wrestling. This is not wrestling. This is not wrestling. Not wrestling, not wrestling, not wrestling. Everybody else is too soft, flim flamming around like the Miz in the ring. The Miz wrestles like old people fuck. But then you gotta watch these people throw <laughs> stiff shots at each other all over the place. Jesus Christ. I, I, I guess I was, uh, I was angry about that one. It's probably about 30 of those if you fucking... Probably 30 of those somewhere. That was a wild one. That was a wild one. God damn, I was losing it. Well, I don't know, guys. I gotta get out of here, I guess, and get over to my gaming channel. I'm gonna be live on Twitch in a minute. Playing some Diablo, very, very calm, chill, playing Diablo, relaxed. I'm playing hardcore mode and things like that. I did say flim flam, didn't I? Oh my god, I said flim flam. You guys, I can't, it's like I knew, dude. I did, I said flim flamming all over the place. Jericho stole flim flam. <laughs> I said flim flam, that is so bizarre. That is weird, right? That's bizarre. Like, that was, I mean, that was blatant, right? You guys heard it. Let's go! Let's flim flam! <laughs> I called Kurt Coach a Hershey's bar. Right, guys i will see you guys later i'll see you on twitch right now if you're coming over to twitch come hang out for the uh twitch <coughs> sorry just died Whew. and i i will always love you What the frig was that upstairs? All right, good night, everybody. Love you all. Thank you for the donations. Fifty dollars from Man in Black. Thank you to Man in Black for being a dropping a bomb, dude. I did not expect to be doing this this long tonight. Jake was sick, couldn't be here out of nowhere, and uh, 
and a scoppy for his ass tomorrow, which sucks. That those things gotta blow. I mean, I'm supposed to have one. So going live on my other gaming channel. Come over to Evil Spectrum Three on YouTube and Twitch.tv slash Joe Cronin JCS. We'll see you guys there. Kisses. Get wet. And remember, right now on Patreon, I just put up a note to self earlier today. So note to self is up on Patreon, and me and Jesse recorded last night, and it's up after dark. So those are two podcasts right now on my Patreon. If you didn't hear them, go give them some love. Go give them some love. And by the way... And fuck Bill Goldberg. <laughs> fuck shit. Bill Goldberg. Good night. If you are a fan of Goldberg and what he represents, you are a fucking piece of shit. I'm, I'm 